What is up my XRP brothers from another mother and my cute XRP sisters. This is Rob with the XRP 007 channel coming to you from beautiful Venice Island, another gorgeous day down at the beach. Just loving this weather. It's absolutely fantastic. Put it in park and litter rip and I'll tell you why because I am smiling like you wouldn't believe being an XRP holder today. You want to know why? Because I am finally, after waiting for such a long time, I'm finally earning a passive income on my XRP and absolutely loving it. So if you're interested in it, uh, follow me on Twitter. The description is down below. You'll see that. So number one, follow me on Twitter. Then number two, send me a message and say, hi, Rob, I'm interested. All right. And I'll reach out to you. But I'm, so, I'm just like the cat that ate the canary today. Super excited about that. And Moving on, the title of this episode, so many reasons that I'm fired up today. The title of this episode is XRP was designed for $10,000 per token. The best explanation on the channel, on the planet, <laughs> and on this channel today anyway. Watch the video till the end. Uh, There's really some exciting stuff. The longer I hold XRP, the more I just get blown away. And a quick shout out to... Dean, by the way, for dropping a hand, heard from a while, dropped me a note over on uh, YouTube last night, and also, uh, also a shout out to Mike in Texas again. I finally got to contact and meet with him over the phone last night. Uh, really was a privilege, was mine, and truly impressed with you, my friend. Uh, and thank you. We are less than 50 subs away from 8,000 subscribers, and I know we're going to rock it up to 10,000 too. We're starting, I can see that from my algorithm and all the trends and stuff that, that we're really gaining, gaining up some momentum and speed. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. So if indeed, if you are new to this channel, if you would hit the subscribe button to subscribe, the bell for notifications, that like button, tap it, slap it, whatever you are feeling for a Wednesday, a hump day, and you can follow me down below on Twitter as well, which I just mentioned. All right, comment of the day goes to i'm going to sprinkle these in every now and then but uh, this had me just kind of laughing last night it's the best smile of the, uh, of the day is that i was asking everybody what is the first thing you are going to do when we hear that settlement announcement and uh, this came from did i not write it down you know who you are i'll give you credit tomorrow i was so excited i wrote it down it says smash my phones smash my computers and then go on a three hour tour on the ss minnow i love it so <laughs> i think i might pick another boat if i were you though but anyway i love it he's just making reference to the gilligan's island show and also this from uh came over from brooks evan brooks asked when is imminent imminent when i was talking about you know imminent uh, in yesterday's video and i'm going to break it down into three imminent categories all right uh one is that when we have a bull market now well, now let's just take that back i'm going to keep with what i'm saying saying for settlement okay and actually there's some overlapping here between the bull market and the settlement so when is imminent and so my prediction is that we have our settlement before December 22nd, which is the third year anniversary. I get that 80% chance of happening, if not 90% now. And call that price tag of $7 to $27, take your pick. That's less than 60 days. If I'm wrong, I'm push it out to April 15th. I don't see it happening that way at all. I just don't think. And also, who was it? Brent. Brent was chiming in. It's like, no, that's just not how it, it, it works when it comes to the lawyers want this up but also lawyers like making that money don't they uh and then also the next one would be flip the switch how imminent is that nobody knows and i'm going to talk a little bit about that later but nobody knows when that happens when it does happen for me uh I'm, like i put in the video this past week uh 500 xrp to a 5000 xrp don't believe it is true but that's big range but i'm just saying where it goes who knows uh, for me, I see like a minimum of at least like a $500 XRP, all right? And then the last one would be for a three-digit XRP. That's a beautiful $100 per XRP. My latest date for that would be June of 2024. And that's just on speculation price alone. So if we reach these targets of like $7 to $27, take the one right in the middle, right around a $16 sweet spot, then do an 8X on it. That gives you right about that $100 XRP. Hope that answers that question. A comment by Cabana Boys talking about how the, uh, you know, when you see companies like Ferrari accepting XRP, 
It says they understand the future value of XRP. Well said, my friend. I couldn't agree uh, more. And he says, yeah, well, why? Because they know what they hold, don't you know? Uh, and this is a fun question. So pop quiz, get out your pencils, get ready to comment down below because this is also a good one. Along with yesterday, it says, uh, you know you have too much money when fill in the blank what it is for you or, if it, or else if it puts a smile on your face this put a smile on my face you know you have too much money when you own an electric scooter and it's made by Bugatti I kid you not there's actually a, a Bugatti scooter really that's somebody that bought that has way too much money all right now and also desperate times call for desperate measures or is it a stroke of brilliance or is it just a Hail Mary pass? Somebody's trying to sell a chicken McNugget on eBay for $500 because it's shaped like the country of Australia. You can't make this stuff up. But I guess if he doesn't sell it, he'll have to eat his loss. I digress. I shouldn't have gone there, but I couldn't resist. And now into the juicy stuff on this episode. We've got to fun. I had to get some of the great stuff. But yeah, I'm super excited just about finally getting to earn passive income on my XRP. I will be waiting for automatic market makers and I will be participating in this as well. There are going to be three different ways you can do that in a minimum, at least three, if not more. And that's going to take a while for it to come out, to get tested, get the kinks out, stuff like that. Okay, but the plot thickens. Uh, this is so exciting. When it comes to, this is all you need to know. I kid you not. Apparently, J.P. Morgan has been quietly accumulating, guess what, XRP. Do you know that they right now, as of now, they have 7.5% of its wealth is in XRP. That may not sound like a large amount, but it really is because they're probably diversified over a, a lot of different assets. So this is getting up there. They are keep, they keep on packing and stacking. And guess who decided they'd take your car payment and house payment and XRP? JP Morgan. You think they like that XRP? I think so. All right. Now, this is down the last part of this video. This comes from Egrad Crypto. It says, Feeling uncertain about your next XRP move? Maybe your last and your last chance to seize the buying opportunity. And this is 100% juicy. He says that mark your calendars. Here's the part that's 100% juicy out of his whole thread that I took away from this. It's And I'm putting it, it's already on my calendars, but he says there will be events happening in, in November. He says mark your calendars for the third and fourth week of November. Something interesting may be brewing. And we all know uh, along a lot of those things that it could happen. I think November 17th is a key date that we're going to have a watch out for SEC and SEA settlement announcement. I mentioned it why in a video, a couple of videos back, comment down below if you remember why I said that one. But there was there's something happening on that day that coordinates that there could be a settlement that announcement happens on then. And of course, we know that ISO 222 goes live. November 19th, but he says something interesting may be brewing. I just like the sound of that. Uh, and there is so much confluence right now. He says, when we break out of this, what he calls a white triangle, triangle on his uh, graph, he says, uh, which is, you know, we will be looking at some XRP shaking action. I love that. And this white tri triangle, he has it right out the breakouts about 58 cents. A lot of everybody has kind of targets similar for coins kit it's 54 cents uh, BC backer had it at 58 cents as well and then he says once we get that then we're gonna do that run up to one dollar and 31 cents absolutely love that that would have me so smiling to the bank uh, my friends and so uh, and then there's also one of one other person that had the same thing today talking about that but this is what also got me super excited when we talk about Eminent. A new trader that I'm following, really like him. He's just, he's a technical samurai with his trading and he just gets down to it. I love his trading, it's called uh, Aqua, A-W-K-A. He says, how would you feel if, if you would, and actually this is me, I said, how would you feel? That's not him, this is me. How would you feel if we are just a matter of days for Moonshot. Nope, it was also him too, but that's how I feel as well. Listen up. He says, that, well, he thinks that it could just happen any day now, maybe by the end of the week, maybe by the beginning of next week, we make that Moonshot and we start that, we break above this 54, 55, 58, one you want to call it, and 58 was the technical breakout, by the way, okay? 
and then we start heading up north and, and do that moonshot. That would be just the beginning of this journey. And remember, when we do that, once we start to break out, it happens really, really fast for XRP. So we'll know that we're going to be within that three to four week time frame. I'll be watching this like a hawk. Uh, one thing that could shake the market is a Fed hike now. Uh, um, you know, the Federal Reserve hiking interest rates, we, which they're probably most likely are going to be a rate hike in November. And then it's going to have a real big domino effect on uh, on the banks. And then this is this is also just got to thank and shout out to Lou. I was in his live stream last night and he actually had a live stream. I, I never can get him to reply to my comments. So I got his live stream. I just wanted to know, where, you know, I, I thought he's, he's you know, you know down in the Caribbean. Sure enough, he is. But anyway, so he chimed in. I he replied to, to my uh, comment up on there. But anyway, he says, uh, you know, um, um, the banks, there is a narrative with the IPOs right now. I'm kind of getting a little bit off track. So I'm going to go back to the fact that he's talking about in his latest video, just talking about when the Fed rates its interest rate hikes, so that's going to begin a domino effect, which begins with the bonds, and then it tri tri trickles over into the banks and that the big banks are going to collapse. And then my question becomes, how, how long a time period will it take for these to collapse? So if we get a rate hike, let's say, I think that happens in like mid-November. I don't know the exact date of the meeting, I'll let you guys know tomorrow. But is it going to take days, weeks, or months? I would think that would take at least weeks or several banks. I don't think they all happen at once. And so anyway, it says that this begins this beginning of that reset, uh, resetting on the new system. And then also on that same vein of talking about IPOs, the effect that IPO is going to have onto the price of XRP, he thinks it's going to send it into the hundreds. But he was talking about his thoughts about, hey, once you become, he's got some nice stock knowledge and financial knowledge talking about with IPOs over in the stock market. And he says, once you get that, and you're a you know company goes IPO become much more uh, trusted because why you have to divulge information your earnings four times a year and make it public to everyone. It says at that point they will become more trusted by the banks around the world and central banks. And then also makes me scratch if you can't find more trust than Rosie Rios being on that one hundred dollar brittle and being on board a, a Ripple. I think that's all the trust I need for myself. So anyway, so, but yeah, absolutely will help. And just remember, we are already working with 80 central banks all around the world as we speak right now. So I think it's all happening, but yes, it absolutely uh, will help. But one thing that's super exciting is the IPO that when it does happen, he says it will create this beautiful, dare I say, flywheel effect where it will just be this, this circle of Ripple wanting to produce revenue, which will increase the value of XRP because more banks will be unloading it, using it as for ODL on demand liquidity. And this is the last part, saved it for last. I have no idea how long this has run, probably a little bit longer than I wanted to. Best explanation of about XRP hitting $10,000. This is from a gentleman that was actually a former high school teacher. And he says, look, I can, I can dumb this down for you guys, make it for even someone that's in school that they can understand this. Uh, really well. So he, he says, here's how you explain blockchain and XRP to someone. He says, think of a train track. That's the blockchain. And you got to go from destination point A to point B. Okay. And that you cannot, you cannot deviate from that. So you have this ledger, this trail of every single thing that, that went and it's all on the tracks. You can't deviate from it. Get from point A to point B. Now he says, XRP are the cars on that train that hold and are filled up with the value XYZ whether it's a euro again gold oil precious art real estate you name it and he says you got to realize that there are only so many cars that ripple has and it sounds like a lot I get it all the time in the comments about this 100 billion dollar supply being so much in the market cap. 100 billion is not a lot when you consider all the money out there and all the money which we talked about at length on many episodes but he says there's so many cars he says uh, you need each car to be big enough there, because it's a limited finite um, amount of, of cars you need the car to be big enough to hold the value of what's being put inside whether it's the end government debt real estate you take all these values real estate 321 trillion yada 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 in order and he says the higher the price, the more efficient that it is. And so he says XRP, and this was per Ripple and per XRP, it's actually per XRP, 
David Schwartz and the team that created it said that uh, XRP was designed for $10,000 so it could be efficient. And that's where it achieves efficiency. Not at 100, not at 500. And they didn't say 1,000. They said it was designed at 10,000 is where it begins its efficiency and could go much higher than that. Uh, don't believe it is true. I believe it. It's not if but when that we will see that happen. Comment down below. I do want to know what you guys think. Everybody have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out.